hey what's going on youtube welcome back to another brand new video and in today's video i'm going to be showing you guys what are the best nvidia control panel settings for gaming in 2024 i have recently covered a video on the new nvidia app so if you have not checked it out already make sure to go check it out and these settings are completely new and are going to be optimized for this year so make sure to watch it till the end leave your graphic card model name down in the comments below and i'll be replying to each one of you individually and with all that said let's get started First things first is you need the best NVIDIA drivers and you can either get it from NVIDIA app or you can go to the official NVIDIA download website from the link in the description below and you can download the latest drivers right from there. It will automatically find the graphic card installed on your PC. If not, you can always pick it up. Simply click on search and download the latest version available for you. Well, before moving ahead, I would like to introduce you all to GVG Mall, a store which fulfills all your digital needs for games and gift cards in one place. GVG Mall has a wide variety of digital keys for games and in-game currency for multiple vendors which is legit, reliable and convenient. On the website you can find a lot of categories where you can get Steam and Origin as well as PC game gift cards and genuine Windows activation key. I however liked how convenient it is to get a genuine windows key since I do not like the activate windows watermark on my screen and to fix it I can literally get a windows key for a huge discount. Generally you can get windows 10 for 5378 but on this sale you can get it for 2175 and if you use my code fox25 you can get additional 25% off at just 1631. And you also have Windows 11 update for free. And it is perfect time to get rid of that Windows activation mark. There are multi-bit payment methods which are convenient and once you buy it, you will get an email within minutes and using that code, you can activate your Windows in no time. So go check out GVG Mall, links are in the description below. Secondly, you need to get NVIDIA Control Panel and you can get that from Microsoft Store. So simply search for NVIDIA Control Panel and open it up. Once it opens up, go to the page that is Adjust Image Settings with Preview, click on Use Advanced 3D Image Settings, then click on Take Me There. You'll be in Manage 3D Settings. For image scaling, I highly recommend you guys to keep it off, but for program level settings, you can change it and set the image scaling to on and sharpen, set this thing to somewhere between 90, 85 to 90% and that will work the best for you. Coming back to global settings, ambient occlusion should be set off, anisotropic filtering application controlled, however, you can also set this thing to 2x it will work good anti-aliasing fxaa turn it off gamma correction on and mode should be application control transparency should be turned off as well background application max frame rate you need to turn this thing to on and set this thing to 20 fps cuda gpu it should be your native graphic card sysmem fallback policy should be driver default dsr factor off low latency mode should be set to ultra if it gives you lower input delay it's good otherwise you can set this thing to just on and if that doesn't work as well set this thing to off max frame rate should be turned off monitor technology i have set this thing to fixed refresh however if you have g-sync enabled monitor you can turn this thing on over there mfaa should be turned off open gl gdi compatibility is auto open gl rendering gpu should be your native graphic card power management mode power management mode should always be prefer maximum performance as it will help you to disable all the power saving allowing your component to run on maximum performance preferred refresh rate is application control shader cache i have set this thing to 5 gb but you can also set this thing to 10 gb as well shader cache helps you to clear the pre-generated textures from your games and and it will help you to improve your performance in game texture filtering and isotropic sampling optimization turn this thing on negative LED bias should be clamp texture filtering quality should be high performance trilinear optimization should be turned on threaded optimization should be turned on triple buffering should be turned off vertical sync use 3d application setting however you can also turn this thing off but i prefer you guys to turn it off from the games vr pre-rendered frames and vulcan opal gl present method just let it be default after that you have to apply these changes now you have to go 
to configure surround and physics and right over here you have to set the processor to your graphic card once that is done go over to change resolution and right over here i highly recommend you guys to select pc resolution because in ultra hd and all of these options you cannot select higher refresh rate so i have gone with my native resolution with the highest refresh rate possible right over here then apply the following settings click on use nvidia settings then select highest over here output color depth should be 10 bpc if that is available for your monitor and then the output dynamic range should be set to full by default it could be limited similarly do the same for your secondary monitor go with the native resolution and highest refresh rate use the following nvidia settings highest and over here i only have an option of 8 bpc but once again set this thing to full right over here and click on apply once again next you have adjust desktop color settings and right over here you will find the digital vibrance i suggest you guys to set this thing to 70 percent because it will give you better visibility in game once that is done simply click on apply now you have to scroll all the way down to adjust video color settings and right over here select with nvidia settings and over here saturation leave everything in the same thing go over to advanced and dynamic range set this thing to full and this will give you better blacks do the same for your other monitor as well select full and then click on apply then you have adjust video image setting and right over here copy the exact same setting you don't want to mess around with that and once that is done close your nvidia control panel now once you're done with best nvidia control panel settings it's time to create a restore point and optimize your nvidia graphic card since this is very important simply search for create a restore point on your pc look for your local disk c over here click on create and name it nvidia just so you can remember it i highly recommend you guys not to skip this step because it is really essential in saving your system's integrity if you want to restore all of these settings back to normal you can always do that with one single click once that is done click on close and now close this thing as well next step is the nvidia gpu optimize pack this is a new pack i'll be leaving a link to this down in the description below you can simply download it from there or you can join my discord server for downloading this as well and right over here you'll find the latency tweaks the nvidia gpu optimization clean temporary files as well as msi utility 3.0 let's begin with the first one that is the command latency tweaks in which you'll find these command prompts first one will help you to disable your bcd tweaks then it will help you to disable your memory compression that will help you to get better fps in games third one will help you to disable process mitigation and it will help you to improve your startup time and system performance overall next is latency tweaks and this will help you to reduce your input latency as well as rendering latency and to run all of that you need to simply right click on it and run all of them as administrator once that is done go over to the second folder which is nvidia gpu optimization in which i have left a lot of gpu priorities right over here you have to run all of them and they will help you to change the registries of your pc which will optimize the utilization of your graphic card you can simply double click to run them third one is clean temporary files and over here we have local temp and windows temp you can simply double click on local temp Control a and shift delete all of these files because these are temporary files they are consuming your memory in the background and you cannot delete some of them so you get to simply skip it because they are currently in use once that is done close this folder next is your windows temp and over here you have to double click on that select all files shift and delete all of them as well continue and start deleting all of them some of them you cannot delete simply skip them and it will be done in no time last and final is the msi mode utility 3.0 you have to right click and run this as administrator and right over here you'll find all of your hardware connected to your pc now you have to find your graphic card from this list for me that is right over here click on the msi button right in front of it and set the interrupt priority to high and it will help you to get better performance in the games simply click on apply and it will set your gpu affinity to the higher state combined with the fps pack and the best setting i assure you guys that you will be getting the best gaming performance in any game so this is the only guide that you ever need for optimizing an nvidia graphic card if this helps you do leave your thoughts in the comments below also leave your pc specs in the comments below i will reply to each one of you individually and if you're not a channel member yet i would suggest you guys to join the channel membership it really helps me out we'll see you guys in another amazing video until Till then stay tuned, keep watching Bear Fox and peace out.